everybody, Suzanne Perry here, founder of Love Shouldn't Hurt That TV. Well, today we're going to talk about stalking. There's some really important information here that I want to share with you that even I didn't know all this stuff. So, this comes from the New York State Coalition Against Sexual Assault. You can find this on their website. So, what the heck is st stalking? Let's define it. Stalking is a course of conduct directed at a specific person that would cause a reasonable person to feel fear. Unwanted pursuit. That's the definition. Okay, so it's somebody who's following you, whether it's online, in person, with the phone, somebody who's just constantly bothering you. Okay, and here's a couple statistics. 77% of female victims and 64% of male victims know their stalker. 87% of stalkers are men. 81% of women who are stalked by a current or former intimate partner are also physically assaulted by that partner. And 31% of women stalked by a current or former intimate partner are also sexually assaulted by that partner. 73% of intimate partner stalkers verbally threaten victim, victims with physical violence. And almost 46% of victims experience one or more violent incidents by the stalker. So this is serious stuff. 26% of stalking victims lost work. 7% never returned to work. The prevalence of anxiety, insomnia, social dysfunction, and severe depression is much higher among stalking victims than the general population. Okay, now let's talk about a couple of safety tips. For any issues related to your immediate safety, always call 911. Victims who are under the age of 18 should tell their parents or another adult that they trust about any harassment and or threats. Save electronic and hard copies of any communication and keep a log. This will be your evidence when you're ready to file a police report. This is your backup information. Document how the harassment is affecting your life and what steps you have taken to let the stalker know that you want the communication to stop. And then file a report with the local law enforcement or contact your local prosecutor's office to see what charges, if any, can be pursued. Save copies of your police reports and record all contact with law enforcement officials and the prosecutor's office. If you're being continuously harassed, change your information, change your email address, change your phone number, and consider using encryption, encryption software and privacy protection programs. Yeah, I'm pretty glad stalking is now a crime. So let's nip it in the bud. Don't let anyone get away with harassing or haranguing you or following you no more. Thank you for watching. I'm Suzanne Perry.